Hello, I'm Dr. Camilla Edwards from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. This case was a domestic short-haired 13-year-old cat who was female and neutered, weighing at 2.2 kilos. She had a history of weight loss, having lost 20% of her body weight fairly recently. So here we've got the liver. We've got the diaphragm down here. We've got the liver parenchyma in here. And we're just fanning through and we can see these uh, large fluid filled areas. Um, we can see they're fluid filled because they're full of anechoic fluid and below them there's acoustic enhancement. So it's a bit brighter below those um, anechoic pockets um, that we can see within the liver parenchyma. So a different view of the liver parenchyma. We've got the diaphragm down here the parenchyma in here and as we fan through we can see these anechoic areas um, these cystic areas within the liver parenchyma in this view we've got uh, spleen uh, in the near field and then we've got loops of intestine so we've got um, a tiny pocket of free fluid of um, we can see every every so often, but we can also see that these small loops, uh, small intestinal loops have got a thickened muscularis layer. So um, we've got the lumen in the centre. We can see the lumen gas passing through there. And then the next dark layer is the mucosa and then the uh, submucosa, which is a light layer. And then the muscularis should be a very thin dark layer before the thin serosal layer but the muscularis in this case is thickened so we can see we're measuring the wall layering here from the lumen through mucosa submucosa muscularis out to the serosa and we can see there's a tiny bit of free fluid there in between the loops of intestine here we've got a lymph node we can see um, within the abdomen. Uh, it's quite hypoechoic, so quite dark. Um, it's um, fairly rounded, so that is um, of, of concern as well. In a cat, it should be less than half a centimetre, and it is um, j just under that. So it's something to, to watch out for if it's a lymph node we're not used to seeing. So um, um, if there are multiple lymph nodes in the abdomen as well, then that's of more major concern. Here we're measuring that it is well beneath the half centimetre mark that we worry about in cats. So in this case, we could see these cystic structures within the hepatic parenchyma. And we're certainly very concerned about hepatic neoplasia, something like carcinoma being a cause of that. We should try and do a fine needle aspirate or biopsy it. And the muscularis wall layer in the small intestine can be increased with inflammatory bowel disease and also neoplasia. So that should also require a biopsy to diagnose that.